Hey everyone, so as you can see I have no makeup on. I just did my brows just because I wanted to get those out of the way. My brows take me so long to do. But yeah, I just thought it would be fun to film a get ready with me. So let's go ahead. I already did my primer. I used the Nivea Post Shave um, Post Shave Balm, the sensitive one. And I've actually really been liking this as primer. This is only my third time using this, but I think it's pretty damn good. So I've already done that, and then I used my Anastasia Brow Definer um, in the color Ebony for my brows. And I need my brows done so badly. Um, but yeah, I pretty much just look like a hot mess all around. So um, the foundation that I'm going to use today is my Too Faced Born This Way. And this one is in the color Sand. I'm just going to pump that onto my little palette right here. Woo! And then I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender to apply this. Spray some Fix Plus because I'm too lazy to go wet it right now. But yeah. Take that and then my mirror is over here by the way if you're wondering why I'm like looking over there. But tomorrow is Valentine's Day and I'm super excited because Uriel and I are actually taking his mom out to dinner. So I'm just super excited for that and to be able to just treat her. I love Uriel's mom. She's so awesome. So we're going to take her out. We're going to this place called um, Bites Asian Tapas down in the city. I don't know what neighborhood it's in. I forgot. But down in the city. And I'm really excited because I've seen it before. Like online and I've seen like good reviews and stuff I have like a blinding light over it. I'm still trying to work on my lighting I'm still trying to figure everything out but um but yeah we're taking her to Bites Asian Tapas and I'm excited because I've seen it online and it looks super super good so I'm really excited for that I'm really bad at talking and doing my makeup. <laughs> I always hate putting like foundation near my hairline because then I like get it on my hairline, like my baby hairs, and then it looks like I have like gray hairs and stuff. It's terrible. It honestly takes me so long to blend my foundation just because I want it to look like flawless. Alright. So after I've done that, I'm just going to use, um, let's see which foundation or which concealers do I want to use today. I think I'm going to go with my Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum concealer and this one is in the color Tatin. Tatin? Tatin? Um, I actually took the stopper out so because in this one you can tell like when I get the stopper there's like nothing on the brush. So I actually took the stopper out of this one and I have to, this one's a little bit brighter, this one's custard right here. This one's a little bit brighter just in case I'm feeling like I look extra tired and I need a little pick-me-up. And this one is a little bit closer to my actual skin tone. So I actually really like these. The coverage for these is, I would say it's like light medium. It's not quite complete coverage. So if you're covering some dark circles up, you might not really like it. Because it's not really going to cover very much so I'm just gonna put this in the normal areas and then I'm gonna use where did I put my beauty blender off? my beauty blender again to blend that out I'm 
Uriel and I actually ordered um, his mom some flowers as well. And she doesn't know about that. She knows we're going out to dinner. She doesn't know that we got her. We got her a Fitbit, which I'm excited to give her. She's like, she goes to the gym like every day. It's like her stress reliever. And um, so we got her a Fitbit for during the day. like, And I just think it's, I just think it like would be a really, really cool thing to give her. So we got her a Fitbit and ordered her some flowers. I ordered some from this website. It's called Flowers for Dreams and they're based in, um, they're based in Chicago. So, um, you know, they're all locally grown flowers and stuff like that. Why do I feel like it keeps getting brighter and brighter? Hold on. <laughs> okay. I feel like that's maybe a little bit better, but oh my god, it was like so bright. Alright, so I feel like I'm pretty bright. I don't know if I want to be a little bit brighter. Maybe a little bit. So I'm just going to take custard and then I'm just going to dot some underneath my eyes like this. Just to be a little bit brighter. So Uriel and I actually went to go see Deadpool yesterday and I really liked it. I was really excited about it because it looked like it would be pretty funny and it was. Um, I love Ryan Reynolds. Who doesn't love Ryan Reynolds? Am I right? Am I right? Um, as far as action and stuff, I do really enjoy action movies. I felt like this one was like really... I felt like it was kind of rushed. Why do I feel like it looks so bright? Hold on. Yeah, as far as action goes, the, the villain was a little weak, um, but it was still like a really cool movie and I love movies that can make fun of themselves, so yeah. Okay, so after I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and set it. I don't, I don't actually really enjoy baking my concealer very much. Maybe it's just the powder that I use. I'm using the... I should probably say what I'm using. I'm using the Best of Me Brightening French Vanilla Powder. So this isn't actually like white. This is more of a yellow. To really like brighten up your under eye area. So then I'm just gonna take a Real, Techni Real Techniques um, setting brush and I'm gonna like pat it on. I don't like bake quite as much as like other people do, but I do like to pat it on. Yeah, my baking is not quite as intense as other people's baking is. And then I'm just gonna rub any excess on any of the other areas that I've put concealer on. For bronzer, I'm using my Makeup Forever Pro, Pro Bronze Fusion, and mine is, mine doesn't have a color. I think mine is in the 30M, I think, um, but it looks like that. I love this bronzer. This is like, holy grail for me. It has, I'm sure you've heard thousands of people talk about this, but like, I just love it. So whenever I do my bronzer, I obviously like, like to do it like on the hollows of my cheeks. Um, but since I don't have a very big forehead, I don't really like do it too low on my forehead. I kind of do it like just at the top, just so make everything look cohesive and stuff. I kind of 
use use it as like a like I warm up my face, but I like contour it a little. I don't really like to cream contour. Is that weird? Right. I'm gonna use some of my setting powder to really clean up the bronzer and make everything look. This is when I really bake. Because I feel like I'm really messy with my bronzer. I'm just gonna brush the excess off and kind of blend it. I never really let like it sit too long on the bottom because then it just gets like and there's like a white line. So I try and blend it out as much as possible. This is just like um, a fluffy powder brush. This is from Morphe. It just came in like one of their brush sets. So. If there's any excess underneath my eyes, I'll go ahead and take care of that too. For highlight, I'm actually gonna be using some of my Becca, like this is the the like cream liquid shimmering skin perfector and this is in the color Moonstone. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my finger and then put it on the high points of my cheeks. And I like to do this when I like you know, want that really intense highlight, you can kind of see it. Um, I sometimes like to just wear this on its own without like putting a powder highlight on top just because it gives that real nice, just glowy look. I love my liquid and cream highlighters. So yeah, just putting that on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow that doesn't exist, and on my chin a little. And then after I've done that, I'm gonna take a fan brush, and this one is from Zoeva, and this is the Lux Fan Brush, number 129. And then I'm gonna take my champagne pop, from Jaclyn Hill and Becca. And I actually shattered mine. That's why it looks like this, because I put it back together with alcohol. That really works, but it, now it just looks like a hot mess. Anyways, I'm just gonna take a little bit. I get so much more fallout now because it's shattered, and then dust that on the high points. Get my highlight on, look at that. Ah, uh, yes! <laughs> All right. For a blush, I'm gonna be using Max. Max Warm Soul. This blush has been my favorite um, favorite one as of lately because it's just real natural. Gives like a nice flush of color. I really do enjoy the MAC uh, mineralized blushes. I enjoy most MAC mineralized things except for their foundation. Um, I actually forgot to contour my nose a little bit, so. I actually just squeeze my brush and make it thin like this. 
whenever I contour my nose. And it's always like really light. I don't like to do very heavy duty contouring because I'm just, I'm mostly just lazy. <laughs> so anyways, I have my lashes right here. I'm using um, the, let me try and hold them, the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour ones. And while we're already here, I'm going to put on some chapstick. This one is just the Smiths. Um, this one is the Rose and Mandarin lip balm. I love their um, their rosebud salve. I've had I've been using this uh, chapstick for like four years, and I love it. But anyways, just gonna put some glue on my lashes. Well, that is. Drying a little bit, I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes, my non-existent ones, and um, put on some mascara. And this is just an eyelash curler from from Revlon. I just picked it up at Ulta. Nothing special. I'm actually really hungry right now. I don't know where my parents went, but they went somewhere with a lot of food. Like, they took food somewhere, and I'm really hungry, and there's no food here. <laughs> so then I'm just gonna use the Benefit Roller Lash. Sometimes I don't even know why I bother buying mascara, cause like, my lashes are just so wimpy, like you can't even see them, look. <laughs> My lashes are just so wimpy that no mascara does anything for them. And people are always like, oh, why don't you try that like 3D fiber lash thing? And it's just like, my lashes are so straight and just pathetic that I feel like it wouldn't even really do anything. I, I used to do lash extensions and I did like those, um, but I felt like I couldn't ever put like, they just like weren't thick enough. Uh, okay, so the Grand Glamour was a no-go. I put them on too late and they looked weird, I don't know. I must have cut them weird. So the lashes that I put on instead were these Eyler Exaggerate ones and the number is 143. And they're like actually really, like really subtle on me. Yeah. But I still like them. They just look a little bit more natural. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and put some mascara on my bottom lashes. And this is the Benefit They're Real mascara. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I can feel it. actually it I'm actually about to film another video and that involves putting lipstick on so just nice and simple no eye makeup just lashes this is pretty much what I do like not on a daily basis I don't wear makeup every day but this is pretty much what I do every time I do my makeup So I hope you guys <laughs> enjoy that. <laughs> this video is terrible. All right, well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Whenever I do my bronzer, oh my God, you can't even see. I'm so done with this light over here. Okay. 
and now I just look so yellow. <sighs> I feel like there's some like I feel like I have to sneeze now. Why do you always have to sneeze when you put mascara on? Oh my god. Alright, anyways. I need a better lighting situation. Alright, now I'm gonna get mad about this.